Today I'm joined by Kathy, and Kathy has been working with me for a while. One of the things that Kathy's experienced, and a lot of my clients that actually come in the door want to know, how do I get my low back pain to go away? How do I get it to move? And so what we're gonna do today is a series of exercises that really train the mind of neutral pelvis, and finding neutral pelvis through movement, what that looks like, and how to take some awareness into the flexion and extension of the lumbar spine. So why I have this pole here is to really demonstrate how our, design, our spine is designed to move. And Kathy's done a nice job of really uh, demonstrating how the head then has this curve and it supports so this was her vertebrae or spine. We have the curve through here and the scapula, the shoulder blades are flat on the back. And as it starts to come down, I would pull her ribs in just a tad bit from the front. And then we're gonna have this nice little curve here, the lower dotted curve. And then the sacrum is the base of the tailbone, spine, or the space of the spine, lumbar spine, and then the tailbone juts out. When we're in this neutral spine, this is the most shock absorbing, safest place to be able to initiate movement from. Now what happens is a lot of time is this low back is either tight or it can just feel like it's extended tight or maybe it's weak and flexed. And so we're gonna have her demonstrate kind of the movements of what the spine has the ability for. This is neutral pelvis right now. And now as she comes to flexion, she's gonna draw the ribs and the pelvis a little closer together and isolate that lumbar flexion there. And that was very nice. And then she's gonna come back to neutral where we return that curve. And then extension and anterior tilt would be where she dumps here. And I could feel her erector spinae, and especially on this side, the multifidus, and the ribs have now popped, and she's in a compromised, compressed position. So depending on, we'll come back to neutral, depending on where you find your spine, that's important to be able to know how to use movement to correct it. So what we're gonna do now is have her move and train her mind and her body to be able to isolate movement from here. So I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna take this club or this pole off, this club. She's going to allow her knees to open back and we're gonna maintain stability in the pelvis. So go ahead and open it back, good. And so she's activated her hip extensors. Now what I want her to feel like is as she pulls the knees in, she's going to flex this lumbar spine and round that coming through. What tends to happen is that the shoulders do all the work. So I'm gonna let her go ahead and go out again, inhale. And now if you were kind of not thinking and you weren't as smart as Kathy is, <laughs> you would flex the spine, go ahead and flex and round, and round the shoulders and get too much into here. And so as we look at, go ahead and press it, come back to neutral, beautiful. Inhale, she's gonna press out and stay neutral. And then as she exhales, she's gonna flex in and round that lumbar spine. Now, sometimes she did such a great job of being able to isolate that movement from that lumbar spine. Sometimes, mindfully, I've had many, many people not be able to even cue in to what this is supposed to be doing. So what we'll do now is just stay neutral and kind of sit back. And now without moving the bed, we're gonna think of from rib cage to pelvis, flex the spine, the lumbar spine. So you can see here how she started to move from here. So I'm gonna put my hand here and say, let's take those shoulders and scapula out of it. And now you're gonna flex just from the lumbar. So good. And then go back out to neutral. Good. So when you are, go ahead and bring it through. You don't need a reformer to do this exercise right here. You can do this standing against a wall and be able just to isolate that movement through lumbar flexion and come back to neutral. You can be on your hands and knees. This is a, kind of like a typical cat-cow position. And just start to really feel like you're pulling the vertebrae apart one vertebrae at a time. Now, we're gonna pull into our breath, Kathy, the inhale as you're long. And then as you exhale, ribs, abs, pelvic floor. Now, when she starts incorporating that intentional Pilates breath, go ahead and go back out tail to top, neutral, and then exhale, tail, good. She's turning on the rectus, the front abdominals, the obliques, and then that exhale and that pelvic floor, it turns on that low base of the pelvic floor muscles. 
which this seems super simple. How it, is it pretty simple? Kathy? Yeah, without help. <laughs> so this exercise is a simple exercise in terms of how it appears. However, I could feel her muscles shaking underneath my hands. And the reason why is because what we're asking the body to do is a really deep work. And a lot of times being able to isolate and go deep inside and make that mindful movement is challenging at first, but that's the journey towards mobility and healing. So I'm gonna have her go back to inhale to neutral. She's going to now let the knees grow out, inhale. We're gonna come into kind of like a modified plank position. So a modified plank position, she's on her knees, she's gonna maintain neutral. How I know she's neutral is she has this basically triangle across the hips down into the base of the sacrum tailbone. And then that same triangle is the front of her pelvis. Now she's gonna keep that nice line in her spine and I'm gonna check just so she kind of feels like she has it. And that's good and we're just those ribs and that's actually one of the things that brought Kathy in the door was that shoulder tightness and rib cage uh, complex with low back pain. So now she's gonna maintain this. This is now becoming her stable joint and we're gonna mobilize from the shoulder. So as she comes up, she's gonna feel like she can open her heart and that is going to lengthen the spine. And then now as she inhales, she's gonna stabilize and start to go into shoulder extension. So she's gonna press all the way out, maintaining that core connection and that is an inhale. And now as she comes in, that is an exhale. Go one more time. Inhale, press all the way out. We're trying to create length and get those shoulder shoulders. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yes, beautiful. Yes. And then as she exhales, she's going to come in, wrap those ribs and abs and maintain the neutral. And then we're going to go ahead and sit back. And nice job there for knee stretches. 